And which oh. means it's about to get more stormy than I'm recording, Josh. Jesus Stop. Christ! What? Did we hire Stephen Colbert for that joke? Nope. Stephen Colbert! What are we doing, Josh? We are going to watch these together. Why? For the, uh, for the, uh, movie. Yes, but what are we... Oh, what? Effigy. Effigy. An effigy. For the demon Adramalek. Um, I'm sorry about that. What? I just got the first thing on there and that thing is... I can sweep. Oh, it's... I can sweep. It's okay, Josh. Well, it stopped being funny. People started firing fireworks at his house, throwing bottles at his house, snowballs, and even just coming up to his house and just straight up helping him with eggs. <laughs> Trying to get this. Okay, now we're recording. Hi, Josh. So let's let's talk about this thing here. Let's pause that. Okay. This part of the effigy here. Fucking bird. That comes up here. That uh -huh. seems to pull away. Swings out the back. So you can't. Easy transportation. Theoretically. She says drag. Who says what? This is drag. Oh, it's a terrible wig though. I got it from Walmart. <laughs> That'll look good. So, today is Friday, October 12th. This is the very first day of production on Someplace Safe. Right now it's about 11.30 and the only thing that we've got going on today is group reading of the entire script and after immediately after that we have a, a couple recording scenes with Viva and Spen, mostly all of their night scenes inside of Viva's apartment and the car parking lot stuff. So that'll all happen between 4 o'clock when Isabel and Sam get here and I'd say no later than 9.30. David Carter, uh, Lannis, is gonna be at the recording session but just for that as far as I know. Um, but otherwise that's pretty much it today. Very nervous very excited, um, ready to get this done and over with because I'm not very confident uh, since the last film I really did, uh, which was Moments of Eternity. It had two writers on it, me and another person, and it had just two totally separate visions. <clears throat> I ended up having to compromise a lot with the script, uh, particularly towards production. Um, that was not fun and I really, really made a lot of choices that ended up changing how I felt about it, about the vision. I don't know. I just don't like the film. I, I like it less than I actually like God Among Men, which is pretty bad looking back on it now. Up until the actual group recording session, I've got all this time to sit and prepare. Um, well, what you're looking at right now is the actual apartment that I live in right now as of filming all this. 
Uh, I live with one other, one other person. She's uh, not here right now, but she'll be here during the recording, so that'll be interesting. Her mom's been here helping her out because she recently broke her leg. Um, so hopefully she won't be in because that's too many people in one small space trying to record. That's that's going to be pretty tough to manage. I, I let them know ahead of time, so we'll see. This is my actual fucking room. This is... This is one of the first things I'm going to be touching up this morning here because it's an absolute nightmare. You got all my film stuff here, you got the sword, the props, all the little laptop case for the current camera you're seeing. Uh, anamorphic setup, uh, it's an absolute nightmare, I'm going to get rid of that uh, rig immediately after this. I'm going to keep the anamorphic, get rid of the rig, maybe keep the shoulder rig, we'll see. Good old trusty GH4. A little C mount on it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I've got to really touch this up before we shoot her bedroom scene. You can see I already put up the posters. Um, probably gonna move that Shrek poster just so it's more visible. <laughs> let's let's hope for the best. Get it taken care of. Move on to the next one. Here we are at IEPUI's own audio recording studio. What we're going to do is have, a, have our group reading session uh, inside of that studio booth back there. Paul, our sound designer and recordist, is going to be recording the session for just in case post production reasons and uh, I, I don't know, fancy sound design stuff. I don't know anything about sound, so I'm going to hope that he knows what he's doing. I'm really worried that. I'm not giving us enough time. We'll wait and see. Spend the money. Because he also... Which is weird because it's Notre Dame. He also <laughs> offered... Um, he had a friend who bought um, a lace front um, male wig. Yeah. It was short that he typically wears for um, when he does shows because that guy also has long hair. And he offered to let them in, um, rent script? it from him for the show. Um, and Notre Dame sure. wouldn't allow it. They're uh, like, no, we there. want you to actually cut Two. your hair. We're yeah. not dealing okay. with wigs. He's like, but it's my wig. I if I'm willing to deal with my wig, I should be allowed to do that. Yeah. And they, they were just okay. not having it, and it was awful. They just told me to be paid shirts. It's just like, I, 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 I need the third arm. They yeah. They did the final pass, they compromised for merchants um. and had them both, because um, the behavior she's been displaying um, would automatically strip her of her status, if anyone fell, found out. Mm. Um, or if anyone... What's up? Hey, bitch. Right now, mm. we are... Dope. What are you doing, Beach? There we go. What are you doing, Beach? Finishing this up, coloring the stunt double, and then I gotta put matching weeb photos on their backgrounds. Delicious. I'm just gonna put a picture of Mount Kilimanjaro. It's pretty. <laughs> Maybe a Japanese cherry blossom. Oh, that'd be cute. You should probably do a sword. Make a sword your background. Yeah, that's so basic. I already carry a sword. I might as well do something else that's Japanese culture or nature or whatever. I don't want to just... I know I like swords, but I don't need to be obsessed. I don't know how this thing works. Samurai Jack is my background. <laughs> yes. Can I do that, Forrest? Sure. Samurai Jack. Every detail matters. Samurai Jack is going to be my, my background. My dad would sing it. Samurai Jack has a butt crack, gets below his back. That's how my dad would sing it. <laughs>
he has a pedal. That's what he's trained for. It looks good. And I gotta make sure you know. All right, this is the Sven's apartment. There's a creepy little effigy back there. Basically, um, it is almost four o'clock, five till, and I have and I have two hours to storyboard all the scenes for this, shot list everything, uh, go to the hardware store, um, try and grab spray paint and light bulbs so I can do some fancy lighting uh, to make this place a little bit more fitting, more creepy, because I like the look of it right now, but it's, it's, not, it's not necessarily what I'm looking for right now. So, yeah, hopefully got to do all that by six a little hungry so we'll see Friday's production went really well um, all the shots came out amazing looking a little too dark for my taste but it's all right I'll be able to uh, try to apply some noise cleanup and fix that I don't know I'll fix it up but the only problem is that it took like two and a half hours all to do and we completely did not do the car scene, so I'm gonna have to rewrite that to where I don't know. I'll figure something out, but I gotta make that short and sweet because the original version of it, if you look at the storyboard, way too complicated, um, way more complicated than it need to be. So we'll see. Get that figured out. The FG. The bathroom, about to outside. bulb uh, three more blue bulbs somewhere three more blue bulbs for in the bedroom up in these lights of, over here up there um, bathroom has these which is really cool <clears throat> That's gonna get um, one blue gel. Blue, blue, and then we will use LED panels for in there and coming out of the bathroom. Maybe a red underneath for when Sven gets off the uh, bed. And then I have no idea what to do for in here. Still figuring that part out. Say hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. So oh, I'm learning how to make yeah, realistic yeah. period blood. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the coffee girls did wonders. Nice. No, I might not even need to dilute, um, dilute this any. No, that looks really real. Yeah. That, yeah, that's that's pretty much how heavy my flow is. Meet <laughs> you kids. <laughs> We're just making this worse and worse. <laughs> I'm gonna shake this off just for a quick second, see how okay. that looks. Too overpowering, 
so I can I can control my reaction on camera if I go to reach for a sip at all. <laughs> what do we have going on? He's drinking our alcohol. Good sip. See, we got a glass. Y'all like heathens. That does. No, we're men. Somebody's house, just as long as it's not yours. <laughs> I think well, anyone who's like, they clean it up every time someone leaves anyway, right? You guys want to sit down on the. Wow, I've had so much coffee today. Couch My couch epilepsy couch. could go faster now. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Hey guys, you should be on this side. You should okay. be on this side. Um, uh, should we move the bag oh, and the sword and stuff? No, oh, let's that. proceed to the front of the TV. That's fine. I kind of like that.
that means you won't be able to eat for a little bit. I mean, he I'm, can I'm just going to eat your portion. He can eat, but it's just, it might fall out quite a bit. <laughs> Not very fun. It's kind of frustrating. So I'm gonna have to get up, turn off these lights real quick just for fun. But yeah, if you want to get pizza now while it's drying, you can. Yeah. Oh yeah, that kind of works. I'm gonna, I think I have good. some round tones on one of my color wheels to help darken it. I only and have a hundred. the bruising and bleeding. Do you get bruised when you get cut? I guess it takes a little bit of force, huh? Yeah, especially when you're hitting such a sensitive area. Mm. Um, really quickly. So There's sensitive. typically some bruising I'm involved. I'm sensitive, Aubrey. And also there will be green tones since you've obviously been under the bed for quite a long time like that. Well, how long well, though? You have to dirty up your fingers too. It's only been about that, a couple of hours. Uh, yes, but it's still it, yeah. long enough for like the blood to start crusting over and everything to start getting infected and no. gross. Paul, you look so lost. Multicolor. I could have conversations about the schematics of Harry Potter all fucking day long. I I, I love Harry Potter. I grew, I grew up with it. Me like, too. Before I could even read, my dad would read me those books out loud, and then he would like finish them and then go back to where we left off the night before. What's your favorite book? I remember the first one. What's my absolute favorite? And Half Blood Prince as well. I love Lady Harry Potter. Yeah, Half Blood Prince is the Jane 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 Get a nice group pick. Oh my god! That was awful! Just awful! So when men have it's sex, so how do they decide whose penis will accept the other penis? <laughs> <laughs> it's you know, it's kind of like a contest. You just put them together and see which one wins. Thank so. You. What do you guys think? Yeah, I got a sword and I learned how to do on screen acting. It's a lot easier because if you fuck up your line, you, you can just check your script and right? redo it versus, you know, just kind of having to go with the flow when you mess up. Isabel, what do you think? I thought it was good. <laughs> you sound hesitant. <laughs>
It's beautiful, anamorphic, with some amazing lighting that I've done. Um, the first real time that I've act ever actually put a lot of effort into the way it looks. Um, we ended up having to cut a lot of stuff out that was kind of important to the film itself, specifically towards the end. Um, the effigy plays a far less greater role in the film, um, so it's kind of there for no reason. Um, there's a part with a lot of voices and stuff that was cut out that Viva hears. Um, and in the kitchen there's a part where Sven is standing behind Viva very creepily, but that was cut out because we just didn't have enough time. Um, I'm going to re-edit this in a very campy, cheesy way and see how that works out. That's my initial thought. I try to balance a lot of stuff together, cinematography, lighting, directing, managing, everything. It's incredibly overwhelming. But if I could do another project where I just focus on one single thing, like for example, um, I just helped Josh, one of my friends, shoot one of his own projects and all I had to do was that for, all I had to do with that was cinematography. That was fine. That was a problem. I don't know. Editing, writing, cinematography, I can do any of those, but just, if I could just do one of those things at a time, that'd be great. Or just have a lot of reliable people. Saturday was very crazy. We had um, a lot of distractions, um, particularly, I don't know. It was just a lot. I'm going to go ahead and put this together see how it looks and uh, hopefully, hopefully it's pretty good.